your coach be doing? Because then that new coach should be able to apply what you just created and they just created to the next. You have to create a system. If you don't have a system, people will be floundering. They are going to drown. They won't know what to do. They're going to get into the back office and they're searching everything under the sun and confusing themselves. Constantly thinking that you have to keep learning before you start doing. You don't need to keep learning before you start doing. All you need to do is grab onto something simple and do that. And make mistakes along the way. Like Jimmy said, learn, do, tweak it. Learn, do, tweak it. And then once you've got that tweaked out, you can keep adding on new skills and new things that you want to do. Remember, just start basic. All right, so let's move on to the next um, slide. So uh, we can go past this because we already talked about this. So the, the thing that we're going to really focus on is the what do you do when you first sign up a coach? The second is a getting started call. Because if we can just systematize how you run your getting started call, it's going to be a lot easier. I used to run my calls and they would last two hours. They were so long because we were all over the place. There was no chain of order. So I'm going to share with you what I say in the beginning of my getting started calls so my coaches know exactly what their expectation is. And the final part is, of course, the next steps. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, so this is going to be something, hopefully to y'all, is really just keep it simple because we overcomplicate things. You may be more wise to all the programs. You might know all the video library. You might have studied the back office and know where everything is. Your new coach coming in doesn't know where the bathrooms are yet. So you don't need to tell them where every bathroom is in the whole building, do you? Just point them to the one that's closest and tell them, there you go, just go there. So give them something simple. And that's what we really want to focus on, is something super simple. All right, so moving past the next slide. So we're just going to uh, create a, a level of system. For the first thing, someone signed up. Let's go to the next uh, thing. We, I would suggest, is that you send and have a template, a welcome email or video. So this is what I do. Just put them all up so it's easier so not to tell you to keep thinking about. What, we, what I do is um, I will actually have a template email, and it tells everyone their first basic steps of exactly what they should be doing. Laying them out right here. This is what um, I have on my email. I also have a video welcome. And for those of you who have attended my, I run a business boot camp. I do it every 30, uh, 30 days per quarter. And I also write a, run a Diamond Forces boot camp, which is diamond level and above coaches to teach them how to create start items. Um, what I have them do is actually create a video welcome to their coaches. In this video, it's not your job to tell them their homework. What is your job in that video? It's their, they just signed up, they're nervous. They don't know what to do. All that video is supposed to do is let them see you, your smiling face, and to get them excited about taking that next step in their choice, in their dream, and that you're going to be there for them. That's all they need to know. They don't need to know what their homework is in that video. Keep it short and simple. So Mindy gave you that homework assignment of making more videos. Rule of thumb for your videos when you make them, try to keep them three minutes or below. Okay, because when you make them too long, it's too long. That's what I always do. Do you do that when you go watch someone's video? The first thing you do is go, how long is it? <laughs> That's exactly it. So, three minutes or less. 2.59 is awesome, okay? So, the first thing, um, this is what I tell my coaches first to do, is I tell them their first assignment is to log into the support website for myself. Of course, I have my coaches go to my site, Black Presenters. And then also our Facebook <coughs> group that we have. So I connect them to a Facebook group. I run a personally sponsored Facebook group because it's too hard to control a downline one um, because there's too many coaches being added to the network that we, we don't know who's where. So I personally just have one for my personally sponsored coaches. And the reason is, is because my coaches need to be connected to Mama Bird. That's it. Because as a leader, once your business starts to get so big, you're gonna get pulled from so many different areas of your downline that it is, it's going to lose the, the, the next factor, I guess, if you will, of your personal sponsor coaches. Why did they choose you? They want you. So if you constantly water yourself to the whole downline and never give direct attention to your personal sponsor coaches, they're never gonna feel you. They're never gonna connect with you. 
they're never going to get anything special and elite out of you. I get a lot of the times, just because of course being a leader in the, in the network, uh, people expect me to hand over everything and everything I ever create. And, I, and I'm sorry, I don't. Because again, I give elite, um, some very specific elite training in everything and everything I ever create to my personal sponsor coaches. I give that to them. But I create a ton of training for my downline too. So as a coach, we don't have to give everything and everything. Don't feel that pressure that you have to. As long as you are giving, you still need to make your personal sponsor coaches feel special because they chose you. So the second thing that I tell my coaches to do in this email is go complete your profile setup. That's simple, that's finding the bathroom, simple stuff. The third thing is I have them do <coughs> a getting started video that I have recorded and available. So as a leader, if you can make this video for your team and house it somewhere that they can use to replicate, Go for it. You can put it up on YouTube, on Listed, wherever you want to put it. But uh, I, of course, house this on my website, but I actually don't do my getting started call until the person has done that. Actually, there's two things that I don't do. I don't do their getting started call unless that person is active on either Shakeology or a challenge pack. I don't, because I've done too many getting started calls where they promise they're going to order, and then they never do, and then they fall off the face of the earth. And I just now did a getting started call because that person never made a commitment to start. So for me, the Shakeology is the cornerstone of the pro of the company. That's the number one continuity product out of the network. Why wouldn't you want to be on Shakeology? You need to have it. Even if you can't drink it yourself for some reason, you need to have the sample packets. You need to. Because that's part of this business. So that's my requirement, is I require everyone to either be on Shakeology or a challenge pack. Uh, before my getting started, and the other one is they have to complete this getting started video. Um, what's in this getting started video? All the housekeeping. How do you change your direct deposit? This is where your preferred placement is. This is your website. Like, that's it. I just show them that stuff because the, by the time that we get on the call, do, you, do I want to show them the website? That's a waste of time. That's a waste of my time to be with them. What I want to know is them and where are we going. That's what I want to do. I, they can do all that stuff beforehand. So this is what I have a brand new coach who just starts doing. They, they get this email, which has a video, and it's simple, simple steps. And then the final part of it is tell me some times where you're getting started call when we can do it. Of course, a couple days or times at work. All right, next slide. So we're going to get into the getting started call. So with the getting started call, you can put it all up. <coughs> make it easier. Make a template and structure. Every time I run a, a getting started call, it follows the same pattern. It doesn't follow a script. Because if it follows a script, of course, you're not listening to that person and you're, you're not forming their activity to what they should be doing. So whenever I start a brand new uh, coach, I get them on our getting started call and I always tell them this in the beginning. I always say, this is your getting started call. And I want, you, I want you to know, I know you're going to be on this call, listening, trying to figure out what you're going to do. But what I'm going to invite you is when you sign up your first coach, I can run this call for you, for them. And you're a fly on the wall. And then when you're a fly on the wall, you're going to see there's actually a template of questions that I ask that steer me through the call. I ask these same questions every time. And I focus on a certain part more than another, depending on their response. That's it. So it's not one size fits all. It's just a roadmap of knowing what to say on this call to form that person to doing the right activity. So now they know, they feel good. We're starting off the call knowing, okay, good. I just need to focus on what I need to do. Because when I sign a coach, she's going to help me with it. And then I can learn this as a fly in the wall. So the first part of the call... The call is, of course, you're going to welcome them. You're going to, of course, uh, do an introduction. But get to know them in their life. Don't worry about the beach body side of it all right now. Just get to know them in their life. Do they have kids? Or are they in school right now? What, what is their situation? Because you guys are marrying your coach, right? You're marrying that person. When you decide who your personal sponsor coach is, you're connected for life. Well, at least for those who take this... Seriously, and want to stay in it for the long haul. I'm not quitting. Minnie's not quitting. She 